What's up guys? Grackle. Welcome to Grackle's Tech Nest. Today we're looking at the Lancehead Tournament Edition gaming mouse from Razer. It's their hardwired variant, not their wireless model, uh, but I'm more of a fan of hardwire anyway. Batteries always die when you got wireless stuff. You never have to worry about this. You just have to worry about the cool lights that you get to see and customize. This is an ambidextrous mouse. So you actually get buttons on both sides, you e lefties can be happy, and you can rebind the ones you're not using, so you get usability out of the other buttons. You know, my thumb is used to doing it all, but at the same time, you can actually use these buttons and kind of get what you need out of it. It is kind of hard to press. It's, you know, your, your thumb goes to grab the ones that you think about, and you don't really use your other, your, your ring finger to push buttons very much. So it's, it's kind of, it's got a learning curve to it, but can, it can be utilized. It has really nice rubber grips along the side for you to hold it pretty well, whether you're on your claw grip or more of a palm style. The mouse has mechanical switches in it that were uh, designed with Omron to go for 50 million clicks, and they say they're mechanical and they feel, they feel pretty mechanical. And then there's the software. Razer Synapse software is awesome. You can easily customize all of the LEDs, RGB, everything, and you can uh, mess easily with your settings on both the sensitivity front and on customizing what the other buttons for your mouse born 5 are. You could change any of them to a letter on your keyboard, a bind, anything you need pretty easily and pretty quickly. The sensor is actually one of the best sensors available right now. It's a true 16,000 DPI sensor and it is just crazy fast. I mean, you probably are gonna play way under that when you're gaming anyway, but it's nice to have the option to go full crazy if you need it, because you never know. It does not have a sniper button, so you have to use the DPI button to adjust that here on the uh, middle part of the mouse. It's 117 millimeters by 71 millimeters by 38 millimeters, and it's a relatively small mouse in the world. It's not the largest one I've ever seen. I'd say it's kind of kind of average a little on the smaller side, but it fits my grip pretty comfortably. And I change grip styles a bit. I'm a bit weirder. I don't just have that same one. I just kind of, whatever I'm feeling like for the day, if I'm going claw, I'm going palm, going a little wrist flick, it just, it changes around. I never really know. This mouse adapts really well to whichever style it is that I feel like using. This one's held up actually pretty well in the scheme of things, and it still looks pretty good. Not really seeing any scratches in there. A little bit of oils on it, but it's all come off pretty decently. Then you get the awesome LEDs. Of course, you get your one on the back that's got the Razer logo. You get the cool ones on the side of the mouse wheel. I'm gonna say that again because I spit on the mouse. On the side, you get this amazing pattern that's like multiple zones that run along it. You can get these wave patterns and cell phone texts that go off and change everything. They, uh, they run really well through the whole body of the mouse and they, uh, they click in with the side of the wheel and adapt to the same color tone. Then comes the price. This thing is $79.99. That's a little bit up there for mice. You know, under $100 is still in a, you're in a good mouse world. But at, the, at that $80 price tag, you're really in the premium gaming mice section. And I'm not quite sure it stands up for that amount of money. If you're in a Razer world, like you have this Razer RGB mouse pad here, they all talk to Synapse, they all sync up, they're easy to use, it's all in the same account, it's awesome. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, become a Grackle today, but not this Grackle, like a littler Grackle that can fly around and do little Grackle stuff. Let me know what you think. This is our second video, we're trying to get more hardware out there, more videos, I think this mouse is pretty interesting. Give me some more ideas. What do you want to see? What do you want to hear? We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen for you guys. The Razer Lancehead Tournament Edition. <sighs> you want the Naga Trinity? The Naga. The Basilisk.